Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Pick up a Bible, turn with me to 2 Corinthians 10, 5, and today we'll have a coffee and a, a word from God together and just enjoy a beginning of a new day. Well, praise the Lord. What better way to get this day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God's book, the Bible. Well, friend, over in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, the Bible says here, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And Friend, today I want to talk to you just a few moments about the battle that we have with our thoughts, our thinking, and our mind. You know, as you talk to God, as you pray, do you ever have stray thoughts that seem to just invade your mind and uh, try to steal away your time with God? Well, friend, what do you do with those thoughts? Well, most people try to push those thoughts out of their minds so that they may get back to their conversation with God. But friend, it doesn't always work that way. Today's verse of scripture suggests to us a different tactic. It says to us that we need to take the thoughts uh, and bind them as prisoners to the Savior. We need to realize that at times God will expose what's really on our minds and hearts in order to bring uh, your unseen bondage to the surface. It's like an old memory maybe that comes up. Perhaps the Lord is revealing a stronghold formed early in your young life. Uh, It's an immoral reminiscence. He may be uncovering some sin that you need to actively turn away from. Uh, Is it a person or an issue that dominates your deliberations? My friend, God may be showing you that you've set up an idol in your heart that must be taken down. Take your thoughts to the Savior as if the uh, enemy was combating your minds. Your wise Savior will show you what to do with them and will help you win over every spiritual battle that tries to torment your mind. And then, friend, when uh, he comes to your rescue, thank him for revealing the bondage that may be within you and uh, ask him to constantly help you to be sensitive to your promptings. Uh, And then realize that your hope is in Jesus because he is a victorious Savior that helps you take control of your mind, your thoughts. Pray with me. Father, thank you that you give us victory over our thoughts, that you give us control over our minds. And God, we pray that you'll help us always to think good things. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I hope you'll do just that and then do your best to go out into your world today and make a difference in it. Hey, share Christ with someone. Your life could be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see the Lord Jesus in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.